Hey Goldies, welcome to my channel. I am Courtney Noel and clearly I am Courtney Noel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are an oldie but a goldie, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, welcome back to my channel. So listen, today we are going to talk about three reasons you should not become a nurse. So if you like on the fan side, I really don't know. I kind of want to be a nurse, but I don't want to be a nurse. If you like, child, what these nurses, everybody should not be a nurse. If you just want to be plain old nosy, go ahead and stay tuned to this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ring a ling a ling. Ring my bell so you can stay notified of my weekly videos. All right, y'all. So, I came up with a list. Because I'm going to be frankly honest with y'all. I know, even prior to the pandemic, a lot of people were getting into nursing. And you, especially if you are a nurse, you know, you'd be like, bruh, now why are you a nurse? Come on now. You could have been anything else. Like, we, we need you to come in here and, like, stop this gravy chain. Like, we trying to do what we trying to do. You know, we ain't need all that. So I've been a nurse for 13 years this year. 13 or 14? No, it'll be 14 years this year. What it be 14? What is it? What is this? 2022? 13 years this year. I have worked in a variety of different specialties. I have traveled. So I have come in contact with a lot of different nurses. And you know, to be honest, there are some things that, there are some characteristics. There's just some things that you should know about yourself that you should say, you know what? I ain't cut out to be a nurse. So, you know, with the influx, even prior to um, the pandemic, but even so now, there was a lot of people getting into nurse for nursing for the wrong reasons. And so I'm I'm making this video to help those people out and kind of save you if you're on the fence, just kind of give you a little guidance of three reasons why you probably should not be a nurse if this applies to you. Now, if none of this don't apply to you or if it does apply to you and you still want to be a nurse, that's fine, but I'm just making this video here to help the masses and to save some people some time and some money. All right, so let's get into it. All right, wanna, I'm going to do it backwards. So the number three reason you should not become a nurse is that you don't like people. You should not be a nurse if you don't like to deal with people because we deal with people all day. Every day. You deal with patients, you do it, deal with patients' family, you deal with other nurses, you deal with doctors, you deal with respiratory therapy, physical therapy, pharmacy, management, housekeeping, IT. The list goes on and on and on and on. Lab, pathology. You deal with a lot of people all day in and day out, and that's just bedside. If you are operating a different role, you still deal with a lot of people. So if you don't like dealing with people... Nursing probably is not the profession for you. I'm going to just go ahead and say that because you deal with people day in and day out, basically throughout any specialty in the profession, okay? So that's it and that's all. Now, another number two reason why you should not become a nurse is if you're not flexible. Nursing is always evolving. Just like science changes, nursing changes. We have you have to be pliable, you have to be flexible. I'm gonna be quite let me give you a perfect example. Prior to me, um, when I let me not say prior, when I became a nurse and when I was in nursing school, CPR was the AB ABCs, airway, breathing, and compressions. Okay, that's how we were, were doing it. That's just it. That was the science. Now you all may know it's CAB. So we're doing compressions, airway, and then bagging, breathing if you have the opportunity. But the major function is the compressions. And that change came about because science evolved. We were doing something for the, a certain way for so long, then it was a switch, a pivot. You have to be pliable. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to go with the flow when it comes to nursing. That could mean, that can stem from not even just science or like the practice or intervention of nursing but staffing issues transferring to different floors changing specialties you have to be somewhat flexible and easily to adjust to different changes because this profession is always changing ever growing and so yeah you have to be flexible okay my number one reason why you should not become a nurse is if you are only in it for the money. Now notice I said only, cause we all in it for the money. Let's be perfectly clear. We all got bills to pay and we all got things we gotta do, mouths to feed. Even if it's just our own, we in it for
for the money. Don't let nobody fool you because they wouldn't be doing what they're doing if they weren't cutting that check. Now, but if you are only in it for the money, that's a whole nother ball game because this thing right here, this nursing will chew you up and spit you out if you are only in it for the money. And I'm sure it's a matter of fact, y'all seasoned nurses or any of you newer nurses who just coming out of school and starting on the floor or starting wherever you are, drop some comments below and let me know how it's going and are you in it only for the money. This thing don't run like that. This profession will chew you up and spit you out if you are only in it for the money. I'm telling you, get your check. But, baby, if that's the, the real reason you got into this, it's going to tell. And it does every time. And you're going to look back and say, dang, I spent all that money, all that time, all that schooling. And I don't even want to be a nurse anymore. I don't even want to deal with it. So please, 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 I hope these three reasons were very, very informative. I hope they gave you a little bit of something to think about. And also, take this with love. I'm only doing this because, you know, people need to know. I, this is conversations that I've had with my colleagues, with people that I've come in contact with. And they said, if I would have known this or if I would have known that, I would have never been a nurse. So I want to give y'all the real spill before you invest in this profession and it's not for you. So with that being said, as always, I love you. I love you so much. But God, he loves you so much more. God bless you.